Alexander Vozdek won his second fight in his comeback since that 2019 loss to Artur Baturbiev, scoring a six-round TKO victory over Rickards Bolotniks on the undercard of Canelo Ryder. Now, Bolotniks is one of these guys who is a lot better than his record suggests. After the loss to Vozdek, he's 19 and 7 with one draw, and five of those seven losses have been by stoppage. But as I say, he's better than his record suggests, and he did give Vozdek some issues early on in his fight. He was aggressive, he was landing some shots, but the knockout in Vozdek's favor came almost out of the blue. I don't want to say it came against the run of play because Vozdek was obviously doing his own thing, landing his own shots. But all of a sudden, in the sixth round, Vozdek got through with a few, rocked Bolotniks, and he did a tremendous amount of damage in a very short space of time. Bolotniks went from looking relatively fresh to looking like he'd been hit by a Mack truck in the space of about 10, 15 seconds. So Vozdek still got some power in those punches, even at the age of 36, put his shots together. Bolotniks was cut very badly. His nose was badly busted. He was bleeding in the mouth, went down, and the referee decided to wave it off after Bolotniks got up. Bolotniks didn't complain. He knew that he'd ship some serious punishment and was probably going to get taken out badly if it was allowed to continue. So I've got no issue with the stoppage given the kind of damage that had been inflicted upon Bolotniks' face and his body language and so on. So yeah, Vozdik moves to 19 and 1, 15 KOs. I always found his retirement kind of curious after that Baturbiev loss. And my interpretation of it at the time was that he saw Baturbiev as his boogeyman, as they say in the States. Boogeyman is how British people say it. Because Baturbiev stopped him in the amateurs. I don't know whether they fought more than once, but they certainly fought at least once, and Baturbiev stopped him. And then when they fought as pros, Baturbiev stopped him again. And so perhaps Vozdik was thinking, you know what, if this guy's going to be the number one at light heavyweight, there's no point me sticking around because I can't beat this guy. What do I want to be, just a contender? So I thought maybe that was the motivation for him retiring. But now, of course, Baturbiev had some issues against Anthony Yard. He's getting up there in age. I mean, Vozdik's no spring chicken himself, but he's younger than Baturbiev. And you've got the likes of Dmitry Bivol. Maybe Vozdik thinks Bivol's style is more suited to him than Baturbiev's style. Or maybe he just at least wants to give it a go against Dmitry Bivol. Then again, maybe he looked at the Anthony Yard performance for Baturbiev and thought, He's slipping enough that might want to have a go at fighting Baturbiev again. Maybe it's third time lucky. In any event, I think it's still an interesting re-addition to the light heavyweight division. Alexander Vozdik, he's always been a talented fighter. Maybe he feels like he's underachieved and wants to make the most of his talent while he's still young enough. That's if he's young enough, we'll see. I thought it was an acceptable performance. Again, Bolotnik's not the greatest record, but he's a handful in most fights. I mean, even against Joshua Boazzi, he gave a good account of himself before getting stopped. So let me know what you guys think about Alexander Vozdek, his comeback, whether you think he can be a factor in the light heavyweight division, and how you think he performed against Bolotniks.